us, and it does build towards the foundation. Looking forward to good things. <laughs> Looking forward to good things. Is that what you're thinking? It's okay. It's a director of faith, yes. Very much a director of faith. And it's a director of attitude. Yeah. Hope can be good and hope can be evil. Hope can be based on fear, but it also can be based upon sickness and death. When you meet somebody that you don't like, oh, I hope they get sick and die. That's a hope, evil, and their sickness and death. Yeah. Or the same, I hope that I go this way when I go. Mm -hmm. The different things happen. Well, our understanding of what hope was is that we, most of the time we've looked at it as being solely positive. But if we are not using God's words, it is solely negative. I've asked, like, how is it that so many weapons in this last week got through the blood shield, got through this, got through that, around the house and was praying about it. And I got the word false hope come back. Words that See, when the word hope is used, I hope, it's got to be in line with the word of God or it is a false hope. And it means only Satan can answer, just like a wish. It's hope craft. <laughs> no. Remember I said it was a director of faith? It directs your faith into the fears. When you speak out a hope that is not balanced with the word of God, you're automatically releasing Satan to bring in evil or to bring in fears or sickness and death. Like I hope to win the lottery, that kind of thing? Yeah. yeah. You don't find winning the lottery in the Bible, do you? You can hope for the blessings of God to manifest. You can hope on many things that are biblically orientated. Because it's a director of faith. So if you're directing your faith towards evil or fear or sickness or death, where is it leading you? To that. Now you're about to say that. I'm going to say that the it's a real doubt word uh, when it, it's used negatively. When it's yeah. used inappropriately, it can become a very much a doubt word, but it can be a very much an activator to allow attacks in. Um, now, you wouldn't say, I hope I have the favor of God, because we know we have the favor of God, so we thank God for the, His favor. But some people respond, though, we say, thank you for the favor, and then somebody else says, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah that's true. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so if you don't negate that, you're allowing their fears to contaminate your faith. The first person has their hand up, as we asked people to do it, yeah, she, she hasn't been recognized yet. Well, I haven't got my glasses on, so unless you make a, a motion. Well, I didn't want to put it at the wrong moment to like, throw off what you were saying. Just hold okay. it up. Um, okay, Alana. One thing that Kenneth Copeland said was, when you see this, there is never no hope. It's always either a positive hope or a negative hope. It's yes, that's, that's quite true. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is quite true. 
We say no hope, but it really means negative. Is that what you mean? It's really negative. Well, there is where you have a hopeless, which means less hope on something happening good than on others, but that automatically brings in a fear that God can't produce it. What you put in with the negative hope is that it's often despair. Is that? Uh, it can be activated by despair or dismay or discouragement. No, yes. Just, uh, depression. And you end up in being in depression, yes. So a false hope can be a, a, a hope that is not based on the word or a negative hope. That would fall under false hope, correct? The negativity or the not according to the word. Uh, it can be negative, not according to the word. Uh, let's say you said, I hope it's all right. Well, what is that? A fear. Okay, it's Doubt. opening the door for fear. Doubt. Doubt. Doubt is there, yes, and? Unbelief. Not necessarily. You you may activate disbelief more than unbelief. You, you're just not knowing what they're hoping for. You're what? Are you disannulling something that they're... Disannulling. Or uh, something like that? What they're hoping for, that by being an... If agent. somebody says that and uh, says something under hope and you cancel it, because the Bible says all things work for good than that love God. So mm -hmm. if you say, it, I hope it's all right, you're denying the word of God. It's all, you can always redeem everything that happens. You, if you wouldn't have added the rest of it, you would have been right on. Oh. It activates denial. Activates denial. Okay, <laughs> okay you get the picture on what just happened there? Yeah, but it sounds okay. I hope it's all right. Is that why a lot of people that celebrate Christmas and Halloween and Easter, they're in a lot of false hope? Yeah. But so are believers in the church here. Yeah. <laughs> in false hope. Now when our hope, the good hope that we're supposed to have, should be a declaration and we knowing what we have. Mm -hmm. We would need to use the word hope. Yeah. Well, but we can say, right. um, I have faith for this because my hope is in Jesus and his yeah. promise said, yeah. whatever it was. Mm -hmm. It's it's not a, oh, I hope maybe, it's I have hope because I know. You're standing steadfast on that hope. I have hope because I'm standing on the word on this matter because the word says that. And such. Yes, that's different than I hope it's all right. We know it's positive because it says in 1 Corinthians 13, faith, hope, and love, and you're the greatest of love. But he puts hope in there as well. Yes. It's not, so it's because not it's a direct door of faith. of faith. And faith worketh by love. Yes. Um, what's the difference between. Uh, Thank you, Father, for your favor and going around. Well, I sure hope I have favor from God today. That's not a doubt and unbelief. That is but the first one is you know denial as well. Well, it's disbelief, not unbelief. Right. Disbelief. Yeah. And the other, the first comment was we know His promises, <coughs> so we know they're ours, and we're thanking Him before we even get it. His promises are always sure, and yes amen. and amen. amen. So if you're not speaking out His promises, what are you speaking? Promises. You're, disbelief. you're speaking out disbelief. You're speaking out denial. And you're speaking out the words of dismay, discouragement. I have a question about some songs. Um, they, they will sing, I will, you know, uh, whatever to Jesus, I will this, or it's is that actually the proper way they should be? Or is it we're now, You'd have to bring we're now worshiping, we're now doing this, we're now yeah. singing? I asked that question before. Because yeah, it de will depend on <coughs> what's put into it, and, and I'd have to... We had asked, asked Tamara some of those, and she she had give me an answer back, but right now it's not in my repertoire. Mm. Okay. 
I sure hope you make it. You can't say that and also bless them to be able to make it. Well, it cancels all the blessings. Yeah. It's a blessing blocker. Do you understand that? It's a blessing blocker. I sure hope you get that job. That's a blessing blocker. What if you have several jobs and you want the will of God to be done, and so you'd say, well, uh, I hope, uh, uh, how, anyway, you might be saying, I hope I make it, it there on time. If you would get that job that you got there on time, but maybe if God wants you to have the other job, it would all work out for the best. And so you're hoping and you're thanking God that His will be done. You're still activating disbelief. It's not the word of God spoken into the situation. And then you just thank him that his will is being done. Yeah, thank you, Father, that your will is yes. Yes. done on earth as it is in heaven. So often when we speak out the word of God over people who are healing or whatever, they will respond, well, I hope you're right, you know. <laughs> well, they've just canceled your prayer. Yeah. Or, or let's hope so. Yeah, that's, yeah that's again they, canceling the prayer. They just said, I don't believe that God will do it. It's only up to luck and chance. If the prayer is answered, it wasn't because of God. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Is this beginning to make sense? Mm -hmm. What's going on in here? <coughs> yeah, the horse whippings will be after church for anyone who wants it. Starting with you. Was that Shelly that raised her hand? <laughs> no, I, I thought I seen a hand move up there, or maybe it's somebody's touched their hair or something there behind Alana because yeah, I just couldn't. Me. <laughs> wrong direction, I'm straight back. Who's right behind you there? Elise. Elise. Maybe it was her that moved her hand into made it look like I seen an action there. <laughs> But I was trying to isolate if there was a question further down there. Okay. I hope the operation is, success, is a success. Thank God the operation will be a success. Now what are they doing over that? Whatever the, the operation is. Whether it's a medical or it's a, you know, a business operation or... A, what is it that has been done? So, so hope is actually a word that's misused in many situations. It's very much misused. Misused. And, and what we want to do is get it corrected because it is the chief blessing blocker, <coughs> the misuse of hope for the Benjamin blessings. But it's also what will allow weapons to come right through a blood shield to attack. Okay. I sure hope God hears you. That's saying he's deaf. <laughs> Because if it's, if it's a hope on God's word, then it's you already know. You already know. There's no question. There's, there's no, no question. So you declare that my hope stands firm yes. on the on the word of God because it says boom, 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 boom. You can't say I hope my hope stands firm. <laughs> <laughs> so how often do people use the word hope properly in, in the church here? Not very often. Not very often. We probably don't use it that much as a whole, do we? I, I don't think yeah, I hear it, it many people used, say it. it use, it's in use quite a bit, actually. You quote the I word. I think a lot of times, sometimes, well, a lot of times, sometimes, people, <laughs> <laughs> well, instead of saying, I wish, then they say, I hope. 
Yeah. Right. They use it as a wish. So they're still, <coughs> they're still <coughs> using it as a, as a substitute for a wish. A, a euphemism. Which means it is the negative they're emphasizing, not the positive. It's in the spirit of wish. Yes. And the Bible does say faith is the evidence of things hoped for. And that is a good word, word, use of the word hope. Yeah, because it's a faith director. What about um, for somebody who's not a believer and doesn't have the promises, would we have a hope for things in their lives? Well, we have prayers that says we can call them in to Jesus and call them for repentance and call them for uh, accepting of Jesus so that the life can be blessed. Yeah. But even for them, we still wouldn't say, well, I hope it goes well for you. That's right, you would not do that. Yeah, yeah you don't tell them. You might as well use the word wish, because man, you're... <laughs> <laughs> that, that brings up a praise report, Gerald. Uh, uh, my mother-in-law had been praying for some relatives who were sick. I think it was cancer, that we can, we can, we can, we cancer. Mm -hmm. Praying for about a year now that they would be healed and accept Jesus. Uh -huh. And uh, she used the word Jesus, and it was a week or two ago, they, uh, they called her and said, yeah. we're healed and we accepted Jesus. Well, they so, were praying, they're praying to Jesus in yeah. Thanksgiving for the healing. Yes. Yeah. Sure hope these attacks end soon. You're asking for more. <laughs> Yeah, you're worshiping Satan and uh, giving word that you want more. I'm still having a problem with the word nice. I, I find myself still using it. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> like I said, the so nice. No salvation for you. <laughs> so nice and hope now. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice hope to have. <laughs> It does take thinking yeah. to yeah, get rid of that God. nice bit. Right. Yeah. Well, it's, That's it's, what it talks about bridling your tongue, yeah. which means you pre-think what you're going to say, yeah. you just don't say it. Yeah. We sell pork tongue bridles for five ninety nine. dollars <laughs> <laughs> Is it for black variety? <laughs> That's very special. If it was only that simple. <laughs> oh, there was an if word. I, I wouldn't want to walk around oh. laughing in my mouth. Yes. Oh, it's if and um, Okay, I rescind those words in Jesus' name. Uh, thank God that through His um, spoke of grace and power, we can speak only those things that are true, lovely, honest, just, and a good report. That was one of our praise uh, things. I think it was last Saturday and Saturday before about speaking positively into all situations. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sure hope they get theirs. Oh, that's what vengeance sounds like. Vengeance? That's a curse. It's vengeance in there, yes, and? It's not blessings. It's not blessings, for sure. Anger? It doesn't have to be. Vengeance? They just don't. Anger, sure rage? They get theirs. It doesn't have to be angry. Unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is there, yes. Rejection. Rejection, yes. Spirit of murder. Yeah. Murder is the one in charge of a statement like that. Whenever you use hope to move for evil to come on another person in equivalent to the evil they've done for you, that's the spirit of murder. What do you mean by the equivalent of the evil they've done for you? Well, let's say that you drop and you drove in from San Kuro and you parked your car and uh, Louise went out with a uh, switchblade and slashed all your tires. Now you would be blessing her or you would be saying that's so Hope she gets hers done. And even yeah. more, probably. <laughs> That's when you take the switchblade slash her not... tires and smash the windows out of her car. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that not part of when people say what goes around comes around? Exactly. exactly. It's a hope. And actually, there's something in Obadiah about it. 
Obadiah 15 says that which goes around, it goes actually around the world. Once it's but broken I think out. it meant in a good way, I'm not sure. Well, it's supposed to be in a good way, but you can, you can activate things in the negative way to cause that to happen. So if, if say Louise did that to her, to Joyce, and Joyce said, you know, reap what you sow, is that the same kind of thing? Uh, no, like she's actually quoting the word of God. Okay. So I just wondered Might if was call it was upset that she was upset. Yeah. But that's still okay. Yeah, because it's not... Okay, it's not. Yeah. It's not used but she's got it. As she can say, I also forgive you. And in Jesus' name. <laughs> <laughs> so now I should say it. Hold it. That's, if, uh, <coughs> so if she said, you reap what you sow, but she didn't forgive and didn't do it in love. And okay, forgiveness. well, there'll be nothing coming back against Louise until. She declares her. Because what she's yeah. doing is because she tried to sow that back, the reaping, the sowing without the forgiving means that Satan can now attack her again ten times more severe. Okay. Oh. Because, well, what I was going to say is that would then open the door for anything that she's sown to come back from her. Right. She wouldn't have that mercy. Or right. So she could say, you reap what you sow. However, I'm going to stand in the gap for you, Louise, <laughs> and I'm going to put the cross between you and law so I'm reaping. And then you won't have to reap. Let's see. You're tired. If you don't sow mercy, you cannot receive mercy. <laughs> If you don't sow forgiveness, you cannot receive forgiveness. Okay. But if you're sowing evil, you can receive evil. But if the other person refuses to forgive, then that evil can be delayed coming upon you because you're not in true forgiveness. But it's not backlash. It won't be backlash. Because they sowed. You would have sowed. Okay for problems had you slashed her tires and I'm sure it would have made her day right wrong you wouldn't count it as a blessing of the day hmm. she likes her tires being slashed what if Tim agrees to buy you a brand new pair I would say thank you. You wouldn't receive that as a blessing? I would. <laughs> Who's going to buy the other pair? <laughs> what if you bought all four tires? Yeah, he could have bought you all four tires. Even in your car. <laughs> wow, there's hope. That's, that's really, that's really what we're doing. Uh, you, you've you got Tim blushing right now, so. Uh, he's cute when he blushes. Look at him so, so he's really cute right? when he blushes. Yeah. So if you stand in Proverbs, if you stand in Proverbs 6, 30, 31 for a sevenfold. Okay, what's the measure of a fold? She'd get. What's the measure of a sevenfold instead of seven times? Well, it basically means seven times. Oh, it does mean seven times. Seven fold means you put more laundry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or it takes longer to fold it. You can't just throw it in the heat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I hope to see God's vengeance on them. It's under the spirit of murder, yes, and hatred. Oh, you could say vengeance is yours, Father. I'm doing yes. to you. Thank you, Father, that vengeance is yours, and I don't have to be one. <laughs> um, if we're dealing with somebody with addictions, we could say, uh, hope this drinking ends, or hope this drug use ends. But you see, that's not blessing the person. That's opening the door for the fears to continue. So you can be thankful for it, realizing that they have free will, but still be thankful. That it will Stay be in thankfulness that they're in God's hands and turn them over into God the Father's hands. So the misuse of the word of hope can cause all sorts of extenuating problems and release demons to attack you. Right. You were saying the other day that 
when you go on the new moon or you lay things down to Jesus like David did and you let's say there's a there's an attack of hopelessness on you when you're speaking it and you you express that to Jesus you can lay it down to him you don't have to rescind the words as you would normally if you're speaking mm -hmm. to somebody you give it to Jesus and you don't have to rescind anything you, you present it to him all right. of the, the what you present and then you then you end with the song with the praise like David did mm -hmm. you can present things but you don't present them to Jesus in a way that causes others to sin. Okay? Well, if you go saying all the things that you think are wrong with Jesus, not having protected you from this person, this evil Louise that slashed your tires, It's like blaming Jesus, really. Yeah. You're blaming Jesus. Yes. That uh, kind of comes in line with uh, the word where it says, you, before you come and present your offering, before you talk to Jesus, make peace with your brother, mm -hmm. or in this case, Louise. Or whatever. The, you know, the that doesn't mean that when you make peace, that you cut them in pieces. <laughs> or you take the peace off of them. Yeah. But you have to do that before Jesus is in them too. Mm -hmm. You have to make that. You can't hit them with the rock or the stick like the or, rock. Or the battering ram or ramming rod. Or anything like that. So when Job, apparently Job did not curse God, but he did judge him wrongly. He misjudged him. He misjudged him, but he never cursed God for what was happening. Any other questions? Did you have any comments for me?